our next speaker uh, was not is not on the agenda, and uh, uh, we it was let's say a last minute ad, and I'll tell you the the story how how this happened. Uh, I know Daniela Fugaro from uh, the American Chamber of Commerce in Romania, and uh, in a recent meeting we we were talking, and I was telling her about this conference, and uh, we were discussing how. A lot of people say, well, you know, green is not an issue in Romania. People aren't thinking about it. Uh, it's just not, not uh, a concern. Maybe later, but not now. And then we both remarked that all of our friends and business people that we know think otherwise. Everyone says, well, it's, Romanians don't care, but I've got a cousin who's putting in solar panels. So we, we challenge that notion. And uh, Daniela, who is the editor-in-chief of 121.ro and some other media operations uh, put that question uh, on the, uh, this uh, community, on her online community. And uh, with that, I'll, I'll leave uh, you to explain uh, what happened after that. Yes, thank you, Stephen. Good afternoon. My name is Daniela Fugaru Cam uh, Camrath, and I'm the editor-in-chief of 121.ro, which is a community of women. Um, I am aware of the time constraints, so I will be very short. As Stephen mentioned earlier, we wanted to find out what do buyers think. I, I understood that you voiced your concerns if the people would buy eco-friendly houses, if the people would buy um, economical bulbs and so forth, so we did put a survey six days ago on our site, and these are the results that I want to share with you today. Just to give you um, the data, uh, we got 350, over 350 responses. We posted the, the poll on the 17th of April, so six days ago. Um, a little bit about the site. Um, the site um, as a profile of the members. Um, you needed to be logged in in order to answer the, surve the survey. 60% of the members are professionals, 24% college students or graduate students. 77% uh, ages between 20 and 30, 14% ages between 35 and 45. The first question that we asked, are you willing to pay more money for an economic bulb? As you can see, um, between yes and maybe 97% the stated preferences of our um, respondents. Um, under 3% said no. The second question, would you buy an ecological car? And on the site there are more details about what this means and the, of course that there is a price difference. Again, uh, yes, over 76%, maybe 22%. The third question, would you buy an ecological house if you would pay more for it, but would actually you would wind up saving money down the road? Yes, almost 68% of the people, maybe 27%. Um, then we wanted to find out if they are involved in any um, environment protection um, actions, and we have uh, over 64% percent saying little, which is connected somehow with the next question, would you like to be involved in? Those yes people would like to be involved. And then we wanted to find out the state of mind of people connected to the next law that's going to be in place after July. How do you shop? Do you use plastic bags from home? You get them from the store or you bring your own textile um, bags? And you see the figures almost 50% they still use the plastic bags from the stores. Now I am aware of the fact that those are stated preferences of people and then of course there would be a little drop in the revealed preferences of the people but I think this could prove you that um, there is a hint that um, the, the vir virtual, actually I meant to say the vicious circle uh, builder contractor builder, agent, and um, buyer could be actually broken, can become a vicious circle just by uh, awareness campaign and smart marketing. So if you want to market to women, I'm the person to talk to. Uh, leaving the, the, the joke aside, what this, even if this could be just um, a little hint about how the market views these kind of issues, and we just did this for a whole week, as I said. This can really become solid reality, which we can find out in two or three weeks when we have a bigger sample of people that answer. 
I promise I'll be short. I'm short. If you have any questions, please. I'm please. really glad to see your uh, surprising but confirming uh, results on 67.89% of the, your respondents were willing to pay more to buy an ecological home, which is by far superior to other results in the United States and UK and Australia where uh, sustainability seems to be more in everybody's mind. How did you, the question is, how did you control that the respondent were from Romania and on outside the states? I have their, um, their data, they logged in, so I know where they are, where they live, I have their email addresses. Was there a way to control of the quality of the data in the data entry, say, I could log on and say, yes, I am from Bucharest? No, this, this is not a scientific poll. Um, we could definitely do it. We can hire a research company and we can repeat the experiment and we can leave it a longer period because any, this kind of research would have to be taken a long time. Um, but, and we can eliminate from the, the poll of people that answered all the ones that are not um, are considered, I mean we can even go by IP addresses and so forth um, and as there is in any survey probably a plus minus five percent um, error margin even given that I, we just wanted to feel how far or how far from what we think the market thinks we are and I don't know, I don't think you are Romanian, but we have a saying here, some, I resisted to this saying till I understood it, we are too poor to buy cheap things. So I believe that Romanians will wind up buying uh, a higher price house, even if you look at the prices <coughs> on the market right now, I don't think anybody can understand them or figure out why, but they would do it investing in the future, investing in the eco-friendly, um, Romania for their kids and their uh, future generations. So to be, to in short, no, I don't know if they are Romanians living abroad, um, unless I go back and search, take all those out, but definitely we can repeat the experiment with a company that does this for a living and we can give even more accurate data that we can do. Thank you.